Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'd like to discuss on the segment parenting styles. So for us, what works best is the Montessori type of, of parenting and way of raising our, our daughter. So we found that our little one is very smart. We tried to discipline through Naughty Corner. She found Naughty Corner to be extremely fun. <laughs> so we had to come up with creative ways of disciplining. And we are not firm believers in uh, corporal punishment or spanking or, you know, that type of stuff. Despite the fact that it's, it's, it's illegal in South Africa, we were never for it. I don't, I don't believe, neither does my husband believe that it teaches a child what they have done wrong and it rectifies the behavior. So what has worked for us is, I don't even know if there is a term for it, um, is that we discipline her or try not to get to a, to a point of having to discipline. So if she does something good, she'll get a, a, a chocolate or a sweetie or praise or, you know, we make an extreme deal about her doing something really good and something really, um, you know, something that is not naughty. And then when she does something naughty, then I come down to her level. I explain that that is not the way that things should be done. And that that is not um, a, a good thing to do and that mommy and daddy are not uh, impressed by that type of behavior. So she then understands why it is that we're saying what she's doing is wrong by explaining it to her and coming down to her level and saying that's not the way that it is, it is done. And then also trying to replicate that behavior between my husband and I. So if you know, my husband and I will praise each other as well for doing something great. Like, oh, thank you, daddy, for uh, pouring mommy cool drink. Oh, thank you, uh, m my love, for, you know, making me breakfast and hugging each other and showing, um, you know, signs of affection in front of us. So that teaches her that even amongst us as adults, we praise each other for doing good things. And then because she's still a child, you, I can't really you know, take up issues with, you know, with something that I didn't like that my husband did. But if, for instance, he steps on my foot, I'll say, ouch, daddy, that hurt, um, you know, and he'll apologize and say, oh, sorry, I didn't see your, your foot. So she sees that even apologizing and, and raising the fact that you didn't like something is not something that just happens to her. And she's very smart in the sense that if she sees us behave in a certain way or she sees us, she mimics it. She's also at the stage where it's like uh, monkey see, monkey do. So we're very conscious about what we do around her, the type of behavior that we show around her, you know, and showing signs of affection in front of her as well as um, correcting and encouraging certain behaviors between the two of us. And she learns from that. And when she learns from that, we see that she actually mimics that. Because if she has a cool drink and I have a glass, she'll come pour some for me. Or if um, I'm sitting on the couch and I'm watching, she'll come give me a blanket. Or she'll. So she's also starting to show signs or show the things or mimic the things that we are doing to each other and, and the affection that we are showing to each other. And she comes and she gives hugs and she gives kisses and you know, and all of that type of stuff. And she's learning that what my parents do and also learning um, the correct types of behavior that we as parents expect out of her. Also, shouting doesn't work. Um, you know, it's it's not right, but there are times as a parent where, you know, just, they've done something and you just, and what I found with that is that she just doesn't understand like what is going on. So it's just taking that minute to collect yourself as difficult as it is and then coming back to her and saying you know I didn't um, like this or you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do this. so the constant explanation of the right versus the wrong is what works for us and also when I refer to the Montessori type of teaching is encouraging her to independently play and to independently do things for herself and not constantly helping her to achieve the things that she needs to achieve. So if she's struggling to get out under a table or if she's struggling to, um, you know, climb on something or struggling to figure 
a toy out you know i'll step away and even be in the next room because you consistently feel that impulse as a parent to help and it's not that i want her to use her mental capabilities to figure stuff out and then when i see if she, that she's really struggling then we'll, we'll step in and show her once or twice and then you know she needs to figure it out for herself going forward so that's the type of teaching that i or the type of um disciplining and the day-to-day um, learnings that I prefer to use with my daughter. The rest really doesn't work for us. We've tried a lot of things and I'll speak a little bit on another um, video about, you know, the challenges that I found with regards to sleep training and weaning and um, all of that type of stuff because that's what we're experiencing now with her being two. We've recently weaned off um, the pacifier or what we commonly know in South Africa as a as a as a dummy, um, and I'll I'll delve into that and what the challenges we faced with her and all of that. And I'd love to hear what you all have to say with regards to your parenting styles. What has worked for you? What hasn't worked for you? And I've watched a lot of videos of how to do things, <laughs> and then I really find that it doesn't work with my little one. Like she, if I got a, a you know a speciality you know, uh, a speciality baby or child, then that is it because she's completely different. All the, you know, advices and everything else that is currently available online doesn't work at all on her. So we've got to customize our parenting specific for her. Um, and that's what we found works for us. So I'll see you on the next video. Um, please like, share, subscribe to my channel and I will share more videos and more tips and it will get more interesting from here.